for tuning in. The tutorial today is for a desktop background for your computer. The art element set I'm using is from urgentartwork.com slash theoffice.htm. 96 dpi is fine, it's just to go on the computer. Okay, so one of the things I like to do first is to look through the folder and to decide what exactly I am going to use and sometimes I find when I'm looking through the folder I, I get quite inspired I get different ideas and think oh yeah I could do that and that would look really cool the software I'm using is Zara Extreme Pro to change the size of the page you just right click on the edge of the paper in the shadow part and left click on page options This opens the option dialog box. If you click on the units tab and make sure that the page units is pixels, then go back to page and for paper size go to custom and then make the width 1920 pixels wide. You could just type out 1920 PIX and the height is 1200 PIX and then just click on apply and OK. So that's how easy it is to change the size of your page with Zara Extreme. The reason we're making it 920 pixels by 1200 pixels is because this is for a large monitor. So we can always reduce it, but it's difficult to enlarge it. So we start big and work down. So I'm just going to look in this folder and decide what I'm going to use. And rather than bringing them in, file import one by one, file import, file import as I'm sort of building it. I'm going to bring them all in and I'm just going to have them sitting around the outside of the piece of paper. Yeah, I really like those in the paisley. I'm going to bring this big piece of paper here and I'm going to bring in some of these separate shadows as well. And I'd like to import this nice orange one here. It's quite funky. So I'm just going to do something with that it doesn't fit the whole background here so I'm actually going to multiply it it's quite hard to see on this white paper okay so I'm going to copy it edit and copy and then I'm going to paste it again paste in place and I'm just going to flip it horizontally and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to move it along and I can move it along really easily just by holding down the shift key and clicking on the left arrow and that makes it go super fast and I'll just leave a gap there and then I'll zoom right in and I need to find where that gap is I'm just going to very gently move them with the arrow so that they're close together what I've done is I've just made a big piece of paper there I'm going to use this paper here and I'm going to bring it up to the middle now I'm going to have a look at the whole drawing again. Then I'll just put it on a bit of an angle there. It looks a wee bit flat, so once again I'm going to get the separate shadows. I might want to use this more than once, so I'll just go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. And then what it's done is it's given me a shadow. And I'm just going to put that up there. It's just a slightly odd shadow, but if I had it about there, I don't want it too close to this edge because otherwise you'll be able to see that it's only a cut off shadow. If I have it there, that just gives a nice, and of course I'm going to move it behind this orange piece, but that just gives it a nice wee shadow that I can have there. And I'd quite also like to have another shadow to have around this area, just poking out because there's creases in the paper and it will look like it's sort of meant to be. I'll copy it, copy and paste and what I can do I'm not going to trim it I'm just going to turn it around by double clicking and I only want the very edge to be there and I think I'll get one more shadow and I'll just put it up there so I'll copy this and then I'll flip that around the other way and I just have it just poking out just a little bit there so of course it looks very strange now but when I move this what I'll do is I'll move it to the back right to the back by going arrange put to back and then I'll move it forward in front of this white piece of paper move forwards and see you can just see it now I'll do the same for this now it's just there resting 
It's a wee bit funny actually. I think I'll just bring it in just a little bit. Yep, so the other bit was poking out there. Now I've got this. Now I've got all these funky little doodle bits here which I've been really wanting to have some fun with. I'm just going to play with these swirls on this. So I can get a closer look by selecting that and then I can go to view selected and now I can see it better. I'll just go out again to the page. One thing I might want to do is get these two pieces of paper and group them together by selecting them and then going to arrange group and that means that if I accidentally with my dodgy mouse move it that's still all going to be together. Right and now I'm going to group all these together the shadows and the this and that means that I can move all these around and I'm not going to change the shadow or move anything. Okay so now I'm going to play with this and what I would like to do is I would like to just select this little thing here and click on it twice. I'm going to put this here and I want it to be underneath. I think this would also look quite good if by going edit and copy and then edit and paste. I think I'll just flip it so it looks a wee bit different. Put this maybe over to this one here. Because this is the last thing that I did it's always coming on to the front so I can either go arrange and move backwards or I can wait till I've done all of them on the end and then I can just simply move this one here to the front. So I'm just going to have some fun now and move all of these around. I'm going to do it really quickly. So that's more or less finished. I just need to put the credit on so I'll quickly do that and then I need to export it. So I'm going to file export. I'm just writing its title and I like to put its size in 1920 by 1200 jpg. It's definitely 1920 by 1200 and that's it. It's now in that folder and now I'm going to open Zara Picture Editor Pro so that I can resize it for other monitors. So this is what I'm doing. First of all I'm clicking on the icon which makes it its actual size. Then I'm clicking on the magnifying glass so that I can zoom it to the size I need it to go to. So for 1680 by 1050 pixels I just type in 1680 for the width and it automatically comes up to 1050 because it's all in proportion and then I just save it and I'll save it for that file name 1680 by 1050. If you have Zara Extreme you will have Zara Picture Editor Pro. I find that this is the best basic picture editor. Here's what to do if you'd like to reduce the desktop background down to 1024 pixels by 768 pixels. You will find that if you enter 1024 in the width that you won't have enough room to get 768 pixels in the height. So enter 768 pixels in the height and then click on the crop tool. From there you'll be able to crop it down so that it's 1024 pixels by 768 pixels by entering those figures in the crop tool. So which part are you going to crop? I recommend having space on the left of the design. If people have icons on their desktop they'll be able to easily see them against the blank bit. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a great time making your desktop backgrounds with Zara Extreme and Urgent Artwork. Thank you.